Do you have a GoDaddy domain and you want to connect it to a hosting by another provider? In this video, I'll show you how I connected a GoDaddy domain to OVH hosting in a few simple steps. Let's start by logging into OVH and accessing the back office. From the order menu on the left, select DNS zone. On this page, enter the domain name and click next. For details, you can safely choose no for minimal records and click next. If you have ordered hosting from OVH, the deal likely includes a free DNS zone for 12 months. The last part is to confirm the terms of service and activate the DNS zone. Let's continue by selecting the hosting on the left side menu under hosting plans. And from this page, you can select a multi-site tab. And from the actions drop down menu, select add a domain or subdomain. From the window that opens up, you can select add an external domain. Type down the exact URL of your domain and check the subdomain option. For the root folder, type in www to avoid problems later on. And in the next screen, and this is very important, keep it open. Don't click confirm yet. Copy the TXT value for the correct configuration and let's jump over to GoDaddy. Keep this tab open in your browser. Now log into your GoDaddy account, if you haven't already, and browse into Domain Manager. Select the domain, and by scrolling down, you'll find the additional settings. The first option on the right is Manage DNS. Click that. On the DNS management page, you will see the records, the configuration, where your domain is directing anyone who types in your URL in their browser. If you don't see an existing TXT file, click Add and select TXT as type. Next, paste the copy TXT value and add an at sign to the host. Next, we need the IP address for the A record value. So let's copy that from OVH. Now click on the edit button for the A record and change the points to value to the copied IP address. Let's do the same for the second A value or the www form of the address. And this time we can paste the URL address in the host field. Now following the OVH instructions, let's copy the 4A record and add it to the GoDaddy records. And for the last step, copy and paste the second 4A record, just like we did before. Once you have copied all this information, click Confirm in OVH and you should see a message that your shared hosting domain is being modified. And now it's time to pray. If the process was successful, you should see your domain on the domain menu on the left. Click on the domain to see the details. Here we can copy the target for name servers and edit them in GoDaddy to match the target in OVH. Under the name servers section, and by clicking change. In the page that opens, select enter my own name servers advanced. Here you can simply paste both addresses from OVH and make sure they don't have the period after them, the comma. Otherwise you will get an error. I've done that. Once done, click save and check the box that you consent to the update and click continue. And please remember, all of these steps take a little time before they have an effect. And if you make a mistake at any point, you can always contact OVH customer support for help. Now, if you follow the instructions, your hosting and domain should be connected and you can start constructing your own website. In the following video series, I will go through a simple process how anyone can build their own business website without having any prior knowledge of web design or programming. In this video, I'll show you how you can install WordPress for your hosting and start building your own website. And this is also a good starting point for anyone who wants to work professionally as a web designer.
So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.